blah trees. <laughs> Thank you, blah 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 trees. It's totally uh. Now protect the sapling until it can grow to its full size. I'm gonna take that. That's a little bobble heady. I don't think that's intended. There, don't think that was intended to happen. Wonder how long it has to grow. Okay, well, we can definitely do this then. I, mean, I don't even know if I'll need to interact that much. Where in the hell? I caught you. I'm chasing shit. Uh, okay. Okay. I wish I had an infinity pistol right now, but my old one, uh, was probably, well, someone gave it to me. It was probably not entirely illegal anyway. Okay, I'll do that. I mean,. I think I have to worry about hitting it. Uh, uh, what am I doing here? And there's not really any... Not really any explanation. I mean, is there... What the hell is even shooting me? Yes, the warg. I get it. Alright, I think all the warg noises they're making are kind of a joke on Warhammer. Because in Warhammer, orcs are one of the most dangerous goddamn races on the planet. But, or well, in the universe, I shouldn't say on the planet. The running joke is that, um, orcs actually have the power to do any fucking thing they want. They, the more orcs, they have powerful magic, essentially, that is based off of their belief. The more orcs believe something to be true, the more true it becomes. It's like, the more or the bigger an orc is, yeah, the more shit he can do, which means more orcs believe him to be powerful, which means more power he becomes more powerful, which makes him much more dangerous. God damn it. Right. It's a generic, I'm sure a warg is a generic orc sound effect, too. But I'm just going with the pen and paper RPG aspect. You know, that's what it generally means in pen and paper RPGs. It's, you know, when people are talking about the warg. But, um, well, fuck. Ah, oh, god damn it. The tree is actually more use or more problematic than it is helpful in its own battle. But I can kill this shit with no fucking problem. That'd be awesome. A fire gun. If something wanted to drop that, I'd be bitching. Oh. But um yeah. That's the thing, cause like Yeah, you know, like they mentioned New York's are dangerous because they can pick up any gun and it'll work because uh, they know guns work. They know you point a gun at a thing and it dies. That's why orc magic is dangerous. And yeah, uh, Warhammer. But there's this like orc hive mind or like hive mentality called the Ward, which is basically it's not impossible or unusual for a bunch of orcs. Like an entire planet full of them, um, like a few million of them, to just get up and decide that they're going to fucking go to another planet and take it over. Or, well, not even take it over, just destroy the fucking thing. Motherfucker. I don't care about this one. I seriously do not give a damn about this mission. But yeah, that's the th that's their power. It's not as useful as it sounds. Now let's head back to town. I want to turn in these quests and find out. Because there's apparently one involving Mr. Torg. Everyone tells me he's hilarious. And I want to see it. I'm going to end up getting mauled by damn spiders again, aren't I? Well, apparently not.
Apparently, I'm just dealing with one. One easily killed one. Alright, map. Which direction do I head? Uh, the long fucking way. That's the direction I head. It's a shame that there aren't any vehicles for this one. I'd kind of like to have, like, the flying blimps or something. But then again, there also aren't any wide open areas. Still, I think this, uh, might have more details than most of the other ones. Or, like, most of the other DLCs combined. I mean, it just seems like that might be the case. Alright, I don't, yeah, I don't, I do not care about trance and they can, as a matter of fact, go to hell. Alright, so... The fuck did that? Knock that shit off. Alright, let's head back to town. William Lock Rock Refuge. Alright, now I think I turn in one with Moxie and one with Mr. Torg. And then there's a question mark up here? Or do I turn one in here? Post oh my god, cookie. I just had the best idea! Crumbled chocolate chip cookies over a salad. That's, Whatever floats your boat, kid. That's not a bad idea. It's just a horrible idea. I got a problem. I'm supposed to be guarding this here town, uh -huh. but I ain't got any armor. Could you head to the forest and find me something that'll protect all this beautiful girl? Uh, oh god, I hope we don't have to find her fantasy armor. Oh god. Duplicitousness! Who the hell talks like that? I do, uh, sometimes. So. Alright, I got a sweet quest for you. First... Torg, why are you even playing? Oh. We all know you aren't actually interested he in nerdy stuff, muscle boy. What? I can't lack geek stuff just because I take care of my body. Not to take care of it. Can we get rid of this phony already? Ladies, ladies! Aww. I have an idea. Adventurers, you must Poor find the three hidden questions of true geekiness. Torg, if you can answer my nerdy questions three, then a part of this game you shall be. Alright, let's go find some geek questions. This is probably the one people told me about. I also have to check in with Moxie because breasts. <laughs> Man, what do you want? That's as good a reason as any. I mean, can we? Oh, it's Bud Stallion. It's the princess. I think that fans have wanted to see Bud Stallion long enough that they had to put her in. I cannot blame them. Hmm, I must have already hit that pumpkin. I'll have to look for them just because. I'm not sure if it's an achievement or what when you find them, but I might as well look for them. I'm never going to get every fucking achievement in this game. What? Ugh. Um. Okay, I guess I gotta wait for it to get close. Motherfucker. That did nothing. I hate these guys. I really do. Come on. Ah, well, sounds like someone's starting the off their uh, remaining fireworks from the holidays. In the Echo Show, Space Journey in Space, what color shirt denoted that a crew member was likely to be eaten by Thread? Red to Correct! Yeah. On to the next question, That's... adventurers. Uh, well, fair enough. Testing me on this stuff again. Because you're a muscly guy. We gotta make sure you're not faking geekhood uh -huh. just because it's trendy. Well, it is. Actually, people are apparently very into geekiness at the moment, and I don't understand. I mean, remember when, uh, well, now a lot of you guys probably don't remember being a kid and getting mocked for playing video games, but there was a very long time. I'm not saying all of you. Some of you probably do, but... Very, very long time there, where it was the weird people that played video games. It was not the norm. I mean, you were weird if you played them. You didn't admit to your friends if you had a fucking Nintendo. Or, you know, something like that. Because you weren't supposed to do that. You were supposed to go outside and play sports. And all that happy horse shit. And fuck that. 
That's why I only had friends who fucking played video games. You know, you were the same- the people that played video games were the same fucking people that read a lot. I mean, that was pretty much it. You were the nerds. I read a lot, and I played fucking video games, so, well, you know, make whatever the hell you want out of that. I never saw anything to be ashamed of, either. Of course, I was never the guy that played sports. Oh, well, I was, but it was for fun. I didn't actually ever want to play on a fucking team of any sort, because fuck that shit. I mean, I was reasonably good at football, but, once again, play for fun, not play for, you know, oh my god, team sport blarg. I never had, you know, granted, that's not to say I won't occasionally, uh, like, okay, still one pumpkin out there. No, it wasn't to say I wouldn't, you know, play with friends who played on teams either, because... I used to have the fun of being the fat kid who could usually play sports better than them. The He's fuck? God damn it. And there's more fireworks. Lovely. Okay, I've got, uh, melee him. Lovely. It's just what I wanted. It's just what I fucking wanted. I could probably wait for him to come around, though. Oh my fucking god, we're... You serious? Yeah, I'm gonna meet him the other direction. I think he's gonna come around this way. Alright, so he'll probably come still alive. across no. this way? Keep it that way. Yeah, I'm gonna try and keep it that way, lady. Come on. Come on, you little bastard. Motherfucker. I will punch you right in your little stupid hat. There we go. Question two. In the Echo Book series Fucking King of die. Jewelry, the rightful king needed to reforge his broken blank. Sword. Correct. On okay, that's the Lord of the Rings question. joke, I guess. Alright. Man, you guys are being super exclusionary. Yeah, they are. Look, when I was a kid, boys mocked me for two reasons. My tattoos and bunkers and badasses. I suffered mm. for my geekiness. You don't get to invade my culture just because it's cool right now. But that's Holy how it works, pretty much. Repressed anchor yeah. Bites. Yeah, well, that's pretty much how it works most of the time. That's how you get new people. Things go in and out of phases. It's best not to question it. I've had a lot of friends who got into various geeky things I'm into long afterwards and I try not to be an asshole about it. We're like, yeah, I tried talking about that, you know, 11 years ago. Now you're interested in it? Last question. In the 23rd episode of the 15th season of Blue Box Adventures, what is the name of the ship that abducts the Blue Box? I don't Steve Buscemi. Uh, I don't know. Ooh, bad luck, Torg. It looks like you're not a real geek after all. Why? I'm just interested in sci-fi and fantasy and unicorns and <laughs> Why can't I be part of your game? I don't want to do what he said there. <laughs> oh, poor Mr. Torque. Wow, I, uh, I kind of feel like a dick. Me too. Torg, I, I, I'm sorry. I, you could totally join our game town. and you can give out side quests in town or something. <laughs> All right! He recovers fast. Give him credit. You guys sure are the best. Where uh, my mama didn't name me. Level 52 Mr. something. Wait, looking for your first name Wait, is Mr. Torg. First What's name your is last Mr. Torg? Flexington. Of course, his first name or his last name is Flexington. Mayhem awaits. Bring friends. That's probably the raid boss. Bring a sniper rifle. Let's see what this Quest one is. Time, humble dove. A dangerous monster whom you should kill is hiding out nearby. End of quest briefing. That's fine. That's a pretty much a mem uh, you know an MMO's quest. They say the you know. Can rip the Where is it? Let's check. Uh, exit of our. Let's see what Moxie has for us. Cleavage mostly, I miss but. The queen. Her beauty yep. brightened the world. 
I don't care what you have to say. Fuck. Hey, sugar. Ma Get world of magic and violence awaits. I have two awaits. words for you. Magic slaughter. I've also got hmm. 24 more words for you. An old pal of mine named Murderlin the Wizard runs uh -huh. one of my circles of slaughter. Go find him if you're in the mood for orc killing. All right, so I can go to a circle of slaughter if I so choose. That's not bad. What, what? Let's see what these do. I can't remember. Well, they're 